Welcome to another fly tying session with Fish Madman. Today we're going to tie some wake flies tied with iridescent material like this on tube which will make these fly wake perfectly. We're going to try to tie a fly we call the flashback buck. Looks something like this. Here's the material we'll be using. Our favorite riffling hitch tube, our iridescent foam, dubbing from John Roma, all bought in our shop. cut a piece of the iridescent foam out. I'm just using a normal scalpel to cut the correct length. Trim off the edges so you get a neat look. And cut our tube into the preferred length. I cut it into 40 millimeters here to make a medium size flashback bug. Okay, we use a normal sewing needle for our project. We fit the tube onto that in the vise. There we go. First thing we're going to do is going to tie our little slice of iridescent foam that we made. Going to tie it up to the end of the fly. Like that, firmly secured. We're going to tie our rip on. We use silver thread. It's strong, durable, looks good. There we go. And then we're going to use some of our dubbing here. It's in the color of Mir Mirum color we call it. From famous dubbing maker John Roma. It's easy to apply to the thread. Like that. Gonna help it on its way. And then we're gonna put the next section of dubbing on. This is the the uh, Canadian orange from John Roma. Like so. That was the uh, the first step. Then we're gonna throw the ribbing through the uh, dubbing here. Nice and easy. That and secure it. We're going to leave the dubbing on here. Oh, the, sorry, we're going to leave the ribbing on here. Then we're going to tie small sections of uh, wing on the fly. spread out. I'll tie another one on here. Looking like that. We've now tied two sets of wings on. I've cut the surplus material off. Now we're going to tie uh, the silly legs or rubber legs on. You can use uh, the colors that you like. We've chosen these fairly strong marked white and black. We prefer these from uh, Hairline. So now it's looking like that. I'm going to apply a bit more dubbing here to this area.
So it's looking like that now. And now for the the last part of the fly, we're going to bring the the foam forward and on top of the fly like that. Going to tie it down slightly just to keep it there, and we're going to bring the uh, the silver wire across and on top of the fly to make sure that it sits there. I'm just going to tighten it a bit. Okay, now we've fixed it. Fixed the wire and cut it off. So you can now see here. Looks even, evenly displayed. Now we're going to finish off here and we're going to turn our attention to the the length of the tube and the system that we use to make the flies wake. Like that. Okay, now we're going to make a hole half a centimeter from the front of the tube here. I'm just going to take a measurement thing here and then I'm going to make a little dot so we get it precisely and now we're going to punch this needle through but we need to heat this up first and I just turn it a bit takes the uh, Surplus material out. That's about it. All right, there. You put your leader through. I'll show you another video how to to work with that. The flashback bug. Thank you for watching our video on the flashback bug. Join us on Fish Madman or tune into YouTube next time. See you.